guys and welcome back to today's video so today i thought i would talk you through my what's in my makeup bag um everyday makeup bag and what makeup i use now if you've been following my vlogs recently you will see that i do my makeup but i don't really talk about it i just do it as a time lapse so i thought i would um sit down and do a main channel video or like a video talking about what's in my everyday makeup um bag for you guys if you're interested some of you may not be but this is what i tend to use pretty much all the time it's definitely changed since the last everyday makeup routine but i didn't think it was worth talking through me doing my makeup um while vlogging because it then becomes a really long video and because i haven't got a video for today i thought i'd sit down and film this for you who's outside my window so um this bag is just from primark um when they did the disney collection i've probably had this maybe a couple of years now and i love it it's massive it's more of a wash bag but i tend to just keep all my makeup in here or the makeup i use on a frequent occasion i do actually have like another whole drawer but i don't really reach for that drawer very often unless i'm in a mood where i want to do something slightly different but this is all just what i use pretty much daily there are a couple of things in here which i don't use daily but are just thrown in this bag so the first thing is i'm going to try and do this in order from the way i do my makeup so the first thing i tend to put on and actually to be honest i say i put on and i don't really put on is the one thing i probably should be putting on is my prep gel this is the bare minimum bare minerals prep gel and i love it um and it is really really good it's just a beautiful gel that covers your your face and it just makes your makeup last a little bit longer but i am finding and i can't figure it out if it's this that's breaking me out or whether it's just me eating unhealthily kind of that's breaking me out or not drinking enough water so i'm just going to give this a bit of a break for now but i i do really like this so next thing is my foundation now i do have three foundations that i tend to use um now one of my foundations i tend to use as a powder but i'll talk about that in a minute so these are the two main foundations i use this is a collection one the uh illuminating illuminating touch foundation there was a rave about this years and years ago and i never really got on the bandwagon with it but i definitely did want to try it out and actually i really do like it it's a full coverage foundation especially if you want like heavy makeup for the day then i definitely would recommend this and i've got this in cool ivory and then i've got a slightly darker foundation now this is the rimmel match perfection um in classic beige now if you followed me i think in my last everyday makeup routine i was talking about this foundation in the ivory so i do have it in a darker color but i tend to mix these two together to get a bit of a better shade if i'm a little bit tanned because i feel like this is just a little bit too dark for me and then this is a little bit too light so if i mix them together then i get the perfect shade so now moving on to kind of the foundation powder that I was talking about. So this is the Bare Mineral Matte um, Powder Foundation that I have. I love this. If I don't want a full face heavy foundation, I will put this on. I use this more as a powder than a foundation. It's very rare that I will wear very, very minimal makeup. It's either I do my full face or I don't wear makeup at all today weirdly i've just got concealer on because i don't want makeup on today but my face my i've broken out so badly that i couldn't film this video without you guys really seeing how bad my skin was so i just thought i'd stick it on but i'll talk about that in a minute so yeah i tend to use this as a powder or foundation and then moving on this hasn't changed from the last time i did a video but this is the transparent rimmel um matte is it a matte it's all come off yeah it's the matte foundation pow Ugh. it's the transparent powder from rimmel london okay so my phone just ran out of storage <clears throat> so i've just had to deal with that yay love it when my phone runs out of storage so i'm just trying to sort out my tripod you're not straight 
Where was I? So, um, I was just talking about to talk about my concealers. Now, these are the two concealers that I tend to grab the most, especially one of them. Now, I was, um, if you watched my Feel Unique haul a couple of years ago, I still have the same concealer. <laughs> I've not got through it, and I don't think I've bought another one. I might have done. I'd be very surprised if I had. But I don't remember. But this is the Maybelline Anti Age Erase Eye um, Concealer, and I love it. Absolutely brilliant. Um, and it really does make me look like I've had a bit more sleep rather than looking like I have not. And then the other concealer, I just want to double check there isn't one more hiding in there, no. And the other concealer is the. Essence. Now, I'd never heard of Essence before I went into Wilco's. Wilco's is just like, I don't really know what the comparison is, but we have a Wilco's, and I looked at their makeup stand for like the first time ever, and they had this, and I fell in love. This is the Como Cam Como Camouflage uh, Full Coverage Concealer, and it really is full coverage. And I think this was like three ninety nine. Right, I'm going to quickly talk about eyeshadows. Now, I think one of these palettes you've seen before, but I'm just going to show it again because I still use it quite a lot. Um, this is the Easy on the Eyes 17 palette. I got this years ago, and I still use this pretty much daily. Um, I tend to use this shade and this shade a lot, and I adore this palette. I think it was like 12 99 from Beats, and this is the birthday suit one. So this is one palette I go for a lot still, and I have had this over two years. And another palette I love at the moment is the Fleur de Force palette. And it's got two shades that I use a lot, which is this one and this shade. I have this Naked 2 Urban Decay Basic palette, which I love, but actually I don't really use very often. I got it as a Christmas present. Um, for my mum and I just don't really use it very often but I do have it in my everyday makeup bag just in case I need it either I'll use it for eyebrows or I'll use it if I want a different kind of look rather than um, just my basic usual eyeshadow look which I tend to do I'm one of those people who just does bog standard and then again I have this very broken lid that I just realised I broke um, just single um eyeshadow in like an orangey dusky halloweeny kind of color which i love um it makes it it's definitely an autumn color and i do really like that for um bronzer i have two one two bronzers and a highlight that i use quite a lot so this is the bare minerals powder one it looks very very scary but i promise once you put it on and then buff it out it's absolutely fine so this is definitely a favorite one i do go for it quite a lot but also recently i've kind of gone back to my old collection uh contour kit which is a highlighter and sculpt so you've got the highlighter and the bronzer and i've just kind of gone back to it recently I'm not really sure why, but I just have, and I love it. And for brum, for blusher, sorry, I have got this Bare Minerals um, scary looking blush. I love this. <gasps> that was nearly a disaster. Um, <laughs> blush, and it is very, very scary looking, but actually it's quite, um, it's not as harsh on the skin once it's on then it looks in the palette and then the last couple of things i have is i'm just gonna whiz through these the last couple of things is my brow that i use and this is just the collection uh brow pout like brow what do they call it brow tint whatever you want to call it i don't even know what it's called but i do love that i use that quite a lot then i've got a um very dirty looking lip gloss uh, matte lipstick and then i've got my bare minerals lashes um mascara did i literally just get that on my glasses don't worry yeah 
um, and I love this. And then I've also got two of exactly the same, I don't know why. Oh no, they're not. Super fine and eyeliner pencil from Essence and I just love them. So that's all for today's video guys. I hope you have enjoyed it. I'm sorry for any background noise or anything. Um, I'm going to sit, sit down and edit it for you guys now. And hopefully get it uploaded very very soon. Um, the weekly the vlogs are coming back. Do not worry that just because I've done one sit down main video. That they're not coming back because they are. I love vlogging. Um... But there hasn't really been anything to vlog today and I need to get a video up for you guys. So, that's that for you guys. Um, yeah. So I hope you've enjoyed this type of video. Give it a big thumbs up and I'll see you very soon for another video. Bye guys.